Good afternoon, dear traders. Welcome to Insta Forex TV channel. You're watching the weekly link up with me, Anna Kasatkina. As usual, we're going to discuss the ongoing situation in the Forex market and forecast further dynamics of popular currency pairs. Technical analyst Peter Yakimovich will give us his expert advice. This trading week was packed with macroeconomic reports and market-moving political events. The euro-dollar pair was trading with sharp swings up and down. Hello, Peta. What do you now expect from the most popular currency pair? Hello, dear traders. I'm expecting lower price in the euro versus US dollar. Um, I found that uh, price actually tested, uh, retested the horizontal base in the background. And um, there's a, uh, something like bearish flag and upward a trend line. And I'm expecting the price to test that uh, trend line, which will act like support. And if the price breaks this small upward uh, trend line, um, uh, I expect the price to continue lower. Uh, the shorter trend is bearish. So I would advise to watch for a selling opportunities on this currency pair. The key uh, target level is at the price of 1.0500. Again, uh, due to uh, retesting of the potential uh, distribution or the horizontal base, uh, watch for a potential selling opportunities on the euro versus. The pound sterling is highly dependent on political factors. Unlike the euro, the British pound made efforts to consolidate against the US dollar. Could you please share your outlook for the pound dollar pair with us? I'm expecting the lower price on the British pound versus US dollar. Um, there is a strong resistance cluster around the 1.2560 and 1.2600. So pay attention on these levels because they act like a strong resistance. I found a different uh, swing highs um, in the background near that zone. And um, this zone will act like a strong resistance where the sellers may start to build their selling positions. Uh, watch for selling opportunities. The targets are set at the price of 1.2370 which is the most recent swing low according to a 4-hour time frame. And if the price breaks the, the level of 1.2370, um, uh, British pound versus US dollar may visit 1.2110, which is actually the swing low backing uh, weeks ago. So again, watch for selling opportunities on this currency pair. The US dollar is losing ground against its Asian rival, the Japanese yen. The dollar-yen pair has nearly approached a five-month low. Peta, from your viewpoint, how long is the pair set to follow the bear trend? USD uh, versus Japan, uh, Japanese yen, uh, this currency pair is, is actually in downward trend, um, according to a 4-hour time frame. But the price uh, successfully tested the lower diagonal of that downward channel, uh, which is acting like support right now. So. Uh, USDN may go to some small correction, the upward correction, so be careful if you plan to sell at this point, since uh, I'm expecting a correction, upward correction on this currency pair. Um, this uh, may lead the US Japanese yen to test 109.60 or 110.10, so these levels are will act like resistance. 110.10 uh, is actually significant resistance because this is this is the area. Uh, where the old uh, old swing lows now they became a um, strong resistance because they they're broken in the background. So again, watch for a upward correction and then potential selling opportunities. But for now, I'm expecting bullish correction on this currency pair. Let's discuss recent developments of commodity currencies. For example, the New Zealand dollar is advancing today against the greenback. Do you think the New Zealand versus the US dollar pair will continue the upward trend for long? I found potential exhaustion uh, on the New Zealand versus US dollar according to four hour time frame. So there is a strong upward, um, let's say upward lag in the background. Uh, but I found a doji candle, do doji bar, uh, after a strong bullish bar. So this is a, at least sign of some consolidation and that this is a sign that buyers lost the power at this moment. Um, and the next bar is also very, very, um, um, you know, uh, very flatty. So this is not confirming further upside. But again, this may be only consolidation before a further bullish continuation. But also, I... Um, I did put a Bollinger Band uh, with 2.5 deviation and there is a testing of that upper 
line the Bollinger Band. So this is also confirming some exhaustion at this point and the price may go actually to do some downward correction and test 0.6955 um, which is the first uh, take profit for the downside and also second take profit at 0.6910. Again, be, uh, be careful because this bar, uh, there is a strong up bar followed by doji bar. Um, this is sign of um, the buyer's loss power at the moment. The sellers may see this opportunity and sell this, or it may be only consolidation for the further upside. But my advice to actually watch for some selling opportunities with uh, you know small stop loss and try to benefit um, and take, for example, one versus free risk reward ratio or more. Thank you, Peter, for your trading recommendations, and see you next week. You've watched the weekly link up with InstaForex technical expert Peter Yakimovich on InstaForex TV channel. We wish you gainful trading and don't miss our next edition.